we've made our way into the kitchen and I would just like to tell everyone at home to make the perfect fish this summer, you don't need an oven or even a flame for that matter. All you need is some citrus. So here to make us a classic Peruvian summer ceviche is Chef Perry Palacci. Welcome back, Chef. Hey, hey nice to see you. you. Welcome, Chef. How are you? This looks hey, good, nice Chef. To you. Nice We're to see you. all Yummy. big fans of ceviche. It's so light and just yeah. feels fresh. Yes, very, very clean. I like to describe it as clean. Ex and Cameron likes to eat clean, yeah, as does so Orly yeah. and, of course, uh, Shirley. So you guys dig it. Okay. We're going to start with this. So the perfect ceviche starts with the perfect fish, correct? Correct. So obviously what you're going to look for is um, something that's going to be very, very fresh. Right. You would like a white fish. It could be, right here we have a, a corvina, which is a type of bass. It could be halibut. It could be codfish. We do want to try to avoid fish like maybe tuna or hamachi. Not okay. going to be ideal. Uh, you want something with a, a lower fat content. Okay, and why is this one of your favorite dishes to make for the summer? Um, what I like about it is that it's very versatile, right? Uh, it's very refreshing. It could be an appetizer. It could be a little hors d'oeuvre. Uh, and it's very, very easy mm. to make. You can make right. it in advance. Um, mm. And it's just, it's a very shareable thing, Delicious. and everyone really likes it. Mm. Yeah, it's out of yeah? this world. It really is. So it starts with actually sort of cooking, but not cooking the fish. The, in the, the culinary term is uh, denaturing. Okay. Um, and that's just, we introduce acid to the fish. It's going to break down the molecules of the fish and the cell walls, it's gonna mm. cause the fish to become very, very tender. Okay. Um, you do wanna be mindful though, you can over marinate it uh, where the, the fish will be tough. Wow. Right. But by adding the citrus before too, not only does it do that, but it also helps you pre-digest it in a way sure. too. It makes Correct. It really yeah. easier on the gut and it's oh, easier right? for digestion too. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's true. All right, so. Put that lime juice over. Uh, one thing I also don't like, it's not a tartare, so it shouldn't be finely diced. Uh, I like it to be, kind of rustic so you have different sensations when you mm -hmm. bite into it. So we're just gonna let that hang out. We're gonna marinate it 45 minutes. In the fridge? Yes. Is that pure lemon juice? This lime. is, I Sorry, use lime, lime, juice. lime juice. But you could mm -hmm. use lemon. Okay. Right, Perry? You could use lemon, right? Uh, you could use lemon. Uh, the, I like the lime, I think it's a little bit more uh, assertive. Yep. Mm. Uh, it's a little brighter. Okay. okay. Uh, so, so now we start to add all the different flavors for that actually make it Specifically Peruvian ceviche. Correct, correct. So tell us about these two. Uh, so here we have our aji amarillo. Mm. All right, so this is a, a chili paste. Um, very easily uh, attainable, store-bought. Mm -hmm. um, all right, so I like this chili paste. It's gonna have, it's a little bit uh, brighter and more acidic. Okay. And this one is uh, aji ricotto. Mm. This is straight up heat. It's got yeah, some bite. Yeah, All right. Like so I, like I, I, yes, I like I like heat. Has maybe a touch yeah. of smokiness to it, but it's very assertive heat. You know, that yeah. assertive heat might actually help me get my voice back. Yeah. 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 That sometimes works. Down it. Yeah. Okay. I drink it. <laughs> uh, very simple. I have some shaved red onions. Okay. Um, just a, a trick that I like to do: um, cut them finely. I like to rinse them mm -hmm. just to kind of take off that bite of uh, the raw onion. And it also right. helps with digestion. Mm-hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. to digest the that. onion? It, it, it's easier on the stomach if you have problems with raw onions like I do. Yeah. If you soak them in water. Interesting. So you soak know. them or you can soak them or rinse them and what, the longer they're in the water, the more it cuts I do there. a quick rinse. I put them in um, a colander and just soak oh. them under running water. Amazing. Oh. All right, here we have sweet potato that oh. we've diced. I cooked it in orange juice. Mm -hmm. I like to use cinnamon in savory applications. Just mm -hmm. gonna add another nuance to the dish. Also add some nice texture. texture. Right, and this is choclo. So choclo, again, used in Peruvian cooking. Mm -hmm. You'll see it's very, it, it looks just like corn. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's gonna have that really great chewy texture to it. It does, um, giant corn. Giant corn. And we poach that in a little bit of uh, acidulated water, a mm. touch of sugar, and star anise. Is that the same as hominy? Uh, very similar, same family. Okay. If you can't yeah. get the choclo, I go with hominy. Yeah, okay, I didn't know it was good. choclo. All right, mm -hmm. uh, here we have cilantro. Which is very typical of a ceviche. Yes, type, right? mm -hmm. some more lime juice. Yes. All right. Just and toss that around. We're going to season. Mm -hmm. And just a little thing about seasoning. One thing I tell my team is if, if you think it needs salt, it probably does. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, and I season to the point where your mouth should salivate. Oh, nice. Does that make sense? Yeah. So that's a little yeah. trick. Yeah. All right, salt, a little bit of pepper. It doesn't need it because you already have 
uh, your chili paste, and we're just going to mix that nicely. But the presentation is also so beautiful. Yeah. The way oh, that yeah. you would serve it like this over the ice. This is how we do it at the restaurant. Because it makes it very appealing. You know, we eat with our eyes. Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. All, All right. right, Perry. Let's give this a Let's taste. See. Yeah. Wait till you try this. Oh, thing. so so wait. fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Happy? Yep. Very good. You ready? You ready to yeah. serve? <laughs> Amazing. And then you, you just put it. some microgreens on. And top. it's very, very simple. Um, and so if you want, if you have a mix. large party, you could do this well in advance. Mm -hmm. you just do like that. Your little Boom, microgreens. and you're done. And if you, you wanted to mix everyone. different fishes. Could you do that, like in the same? Absolutely. You'll get some different textures to it. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Wow. Super yummy. You guys are going to love this. Uh, well, I know Perry is because you know that. Because right? it's his yeah, Debbie is too. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's his recipe. Full recipe will be at hallmarkchannel.com.